Hello everyone, I'm Charles. Welcome to Graphic Design Quick Start. In today's episode, I'll be showing you how to land an image in tile patterns in Photoshop. In our previous episode, I showed you how to land a portrait in type. In this episode, I'll be showing you how to land the same image in tile pattern. This is the final look we are targeting. We have applied this blister painterly look on her flesh and the circuit board pattern on the garment and a mix of the circuit pattern and the painter look on the background. Let us get started. We will start with this image in your previous episode. First, let us select the background. Let's go to the layers panel. Double click on the image layer to convert it to a normal layer. Let's name it Face. Go to Select. Color Lange. Use a fuzziness of 40. Click on the background to load it as a key color in the selection. Click OK. At this point, we have selected the opposite of what we need. We need to select the face so that you can mask out the background. To inverse the mask, hold Alt, Option and Mark, and click on the Add Layer Mask icon. That goes ahead and mask out the background. Let us work on the mask a little. Hold Alt, Option Mark, and click on the Layer Mask thumbnail so that you can see the mask separately from the image. Press B to pick the brush tool. Break the hardness to 100% and increase the brush size as you desire. Press D for default for cloud and background colors. Press M for the marquee tool. Press Alt Backspace or Option Delete on the mark. That fills the mask with the foreground color. Press Ctrl D Command D to deselect. Click on the image thumbnail to see the image layer. Let's now create our first pattern, which is the blister paint look. Go to the bottom of the layers panel. Click on the white black icon. Go to pattern. Click on the down point in yellow. By default, all the brushes would be loaded. In case you're using the richest Photoshop version, go to the pattern panel. Click on the panel flyout menu. Click on legacy patterns and more. That will help you load more of the brushes. In this case, I already have them. Go back to the Layers panel. Click on the black white icon. Go to Pattern. Click on the down point in yellow. Go to Legacy Patterns and more. Click on Legacy Patterns. Find Texture Fill. And choose the back pattern. Change the scale to 300. Click OK. We need this pattern on both the flesh and also the background. So let us duplicate it. First, let us get rid of the pattern layer mask. Rename the layer to side. Hold Alt, Option Mark, and drag below the face layer to create a duplicate. Let us name our top pattern to paint. Hide the paint layer. Hold Shift and click on the layer mask thumbnail to temporarily hide it. Let us now select the highlights. Go to Select, Color Lange, change the fuzziness to 100, shift click in the white of the eye, add some more of the highlights, show the paint layer, go to the bottom of the layer panel and click on the add mask icon, change the layer blending mode to multiply, click on an empty layer of the layer to bring up the layer style dialog box, hold on Alt, Option on Mark, and drag the left half of the white triangle slider. Drag it until the value on the left of the stroke is 30. Click OK. Hide the paint layer. Click on the face image thumbnail. Let us now select the shadows. Go to Select, Color Lange. Click on the background. Shift click on the fabric. Also, shift click on the shadow area of the eye. Click OK. Let us add the other pattern, which we'll be creating from a separate image. Let us create the pattern. Go to Edit. Define Pattern. Let us call it Circuit. Click OK. Let us go back to a composition in progress. Go to the bottom of the Layers panel. Click on the white block icon. Click on Pattern. Click on the down point in yellow. Go to the bottom and select the circuit pattern. 
change the scale to 70. Click OK. Change the layer blending mode to multiply. Show the paint layer. Shift click on the face layer mask. Let us fuse the background with some color. Click on the side layer. Go to FX. Color overlay. Click on the color swatch. Change the hue to 50. Saturation to 90. And leave the brightness at 100. Click OK. Change the blending mode to mod pry so, so that we can show through the bistral paint. Click OK. Let us also create a separation between the background and the face layer through the use of a drop shadow. Click on the face layer. Go to FX. Drop shadow. Clank the opacity to 100%. Give it an angle of 0. A distance of 50 and a size of 200. Click OK. That was before. And this is after. Let us now compare this result with our final look. Go to Window, Arrange, to Up Vertical. As you can see, in our final look, I managed to rotate the pattern to 45 degrees. Join me in the next episode as I show you how to rotate pattern layers in Photoshop. Let us hide the layers pattern. Let me press F a couple of times to switch to the full screen mode. And there we have it, how to render an image in tile patterns. That's it for today. Like, share, and consider subscribing to our channel so that you don't miss out on our next episode.